Are we, are we on? <laughs> Has it started? Am I being recorded? How did I start it last time? <laughs> Welcome back to the Ponyback YouTube channel, and today we're going to talk about beanies. On today's episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I came up with the design for the Ponyback beanie, as she currently is in her all her glory. <laughs> so, last year, I had already been thinking about coming up with a beanie in the fall, around September. It just felt like a very natural product extension going from uh, the summer, spring in like baseball style to the winter style. You may think that it's like a very complicated and like crazy process to create a design and like takes forever. But honestly, all you need to start with is some type of inspiration. So I had known that I really loved I mean, should I show the brand? <laughs> but we're just gonna say them. Carhartt, you make beautiful knits. If you wanna do a collab, just let me know. Okay, anyway, uh, I loved these beanies and so does everyone else. They're like super popular right now. And they have like the, like the peak on the top of them. I just thought they were super cute. So I really wanted something that was in this similar style. So it's like a double lined knit. And I literally just like sent a picture to my manufacturer was like, hey, can you make this? and just like put the pony back magnets in the back. Can you just do that? What 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 happens? So uh, that was the very first iteration and they sent to me the very first beanie prototype, just removing some fuzz from it, <laughs> um, which was this actually, which they didn't follow the instructions on the double line knit. I wasn't that clear. I literally just sent them a picture of that. So they had sent me this, but um, essentially like they, they followed the instructions. They put the same magnets in the back, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And one of the major issues was that like the magnets didn't go from the very top of the hat to the bottom of the hat, which I also knew was a problem. And I also wanted it, I wanted this like four seam top. I don't know what that's called. A top seam, we're calling it the top seam. <laughs> To this day, I still don't know what that's called, but these seams at the top of the hat that make the like peak, I wanted that in like a four part. So I, I um, created a very <laughs> rough looking Word document <laughs> as a tech pack, because now I at least know what a tech pack is supposed to have in it versus before I didn't. So I just created my own version in the short term because I didn't want to spend the money on my graphic designer when I didn't know yet if this was going to be something that they could actually create for me. So I sent them using, now I found a different hat technically that I used as the inspiration. It's very similar to the Carhartt hat, but it's a different brand. And so I just took pictures of this hat inside and out and I did a mock-up. Christine will show you the mock-up here um, <laughs> on a Word document. Like that's the skills I have is Word. Like I can create text boxes, um, but I can't, I can't use Adobe, the skills in there. So. I just, I, I laid out all the measurements and I and it was all based on essentially this hat. So all the measurements for the, the pony back originated from like this inspiration. So I literally just measured it. You don't need to like start from nothing. You can just use something that you already have that you really love and go from there. Oh, the other thing I should mention is these inspo hats had cuffs on the bottom, but I knew I couldn't do a cuff. And the reason was Excuse the hat hair. Oh, we're gonna keep this. Wait. Uh, we turn it inside out. <laughs> Whatever. We're just gonna give all the shout outs to Carhartt. Like, I make the policies. I'm the CEO. So, can we talk about other brands on this show? Yep. Just decided. Just created the policy myself. Okay, so with this Carhartt hat, if I show you the back of my head, you can see that, like, the cuff pretty much goes up to the middle of the back of my head. And I knew that that wasn't going to provide a large enough opening if it only started at the top of the cuff. Because the magnets, I mean, they're magnets and they don't like fold. So I couldn't have the magnets like it being included and being folded in. So I already knew that from the outset. So I, in my design, I instructed them not to have a cuff. 
in my Word document. <laughs> so then uh, my manufacturer sent me this based upon my drawings. Now, if we take a look at the back, we have a problem. We have a problem, Houston. Now, uh, the back was too small. So when I put this, what, I'll just keep that hat off. What am I even doing? Okay, when I put this hat on, we can see where the magnets go. That's not enough room to accommodate ponytails up high. So I knew I wanted the ponytail to be able to go as high up to the top of the hat as possible. Um, and so I knew this wasn't gonna cut it. And like, should I show them? Maybe I should put it in. Let's make a ponytail. Maybe Christine can speed this part up. I knew this wasn't gonna be, like this is the highest ponytail you can wear with this hat. That wasn't gonna be high enough. <laughs> anyway, my high ponies weren't gonna cut it. It wasn't gonna work. So, um, I was like, okay, that's a problem. And it was, it was a sad day because honestly, I really loved the look of this hat. I thought it was super cute. I mean, I don't know about the color. <laughs> the color was neither here nor there. I didn't ask for this color. They just sent with whatever fabric that they had on hand. But like, I, I thought it was super cute. I loved it and I'm like, oh, but it isn't right. And I knew it wasn't right. I felt like it wasn't right. So I was like, okay, so I need to be able to figure this out. And by this time, like, I originally started the process like September of 2020, but by this time it's like January of 2020, maybe even February. And I'm like, holy cow, I have to, if I want this to be a reality for like October, November of next year, like I need to be on top of this. So I went back to the drawing board and funny enough, like the original hat that they had shown me had six seams in the top of it, or like three, I don't know. It's like three, double, three doubles. The top seams, they had six little dart outs. But in the original design, the magnets went like, it met up with one of the seams. So they weren't able to extend the magnets into that seam, it was in the way. So I was like, huh, what if we just make it and like move it slightly over so that instead of the seam being right at the back, that the seams kind of split the back. So that's what we ended up doing. Um, my idea was we still go with the six, but that actually the magnets go all the way up in between the back two seams at the back. And I was just like crossing my fingers, hoping that this was gonna work. And it did. So then they sent me this sample that I am holding right here. Um, again, let's take off prototype number two and put on prototype number three. Um, I love, again, I love the design of how it looked but then I put it on using my ponytail. Okay, let me show you with my ponytail because this is where the issue then crept in. We used the exact same magnets that we did in, um, in the baseball hats, but it's a different fabric. I was like, sweet, this is amazing. I'm gonna put this on with my pony. Like it came, my high pony came out right at the top where I wanted it to go and I'm like, great, I'm gonna do my pony back tuck, as I like to call it. And I'm trying to tuck and I am unable. <laughs> I was unable to do the pony back tuck. And I was, I was kind of devastated because this was like, I was hoping that this was going to be the final prototype that I could turn around make my final tech pack design, have everything ready, and then put in my purchase order, but I knew I couldn't move forward with it if um, the magnets weren't going to work. The magnets, although they work beautifully in the baseball hats, as you can see behind me, as is sitting beside me, um, they aren't strong enough with the thicker knit. This was a problem. <laughs> Although like right here, you can open and close and it seems like the magnets are working, but when like you have your head in it and your hair and your head are pulling against these magnets, the pull force on that, just it couldn't withstand it. So I knew that I needed stronger magnets, but like by this time, it's like April of 2021 
And I am supposed to be like putting in my purchase order at this time, like in order to get them here for the fall. And we still don't have it right. And so I had to gamble a little bit. I was like, okay, I'm going to order a crazy amount of longer, stronger magnets and just cross my fingers that that is going to solve the problem. And that is what I did. And the samples of these magnets didn't arrive to be manufactured till August. <laughs> so I couldn't even test it. So I was kind of on pins and needles about whether or not this is gonna work. And they finally do create the version, where do I have it here? With the stronger magnets. And it worked, but they had put too many magnets in the back. It was like, like solid magnets. I'm like, that is way too many magnets. Like slow down. We can't have that many magnets in the back. And so I had to essentially put in my final design and my purchase order without actually having seen a perfected final sample and just was like, we're gonna kind of go with like our minimum viable product here and just hope for the best. And they got back to me and said, um, okay, yep, like your PO will be ready at the end of January 2022. It's like, uh, we're gonna completely miss the winter season and I might as well not be selling any hats at all. I was devastated. But then I asked them, okay, what if I just, if I slash my PO? So instead of ordering thousands, like what if I only order a small quantity? 900, 900 hats. And just because I lessened the quantity meant that they were actually able to then make them by no, the beginning of November, which was huge. So I, I decided that like, I wanted to get this out to you guys because like so many people have been asking, like, when are you gonna have a, like, I want a winter version of this. When are you gonna have a winter version of this? That would be perfect. And so I didn't wanna have to wait another year. And I also wanted to get the feedback from everybody like, is this something that they're gonna want for the next season? So I felt like having a small test and seeing if people liked them was the best way to go about it. So we decided like just one color, keep it simple. We decided to go with two different sizes. So we've got the small, medium, and then the large, extra large. And the reason for that is because, um, again, that you're putting such pull force on the hats, like if someone has a bigger size head, it's also important that they have a little bit more fabric to accommodate for that pull force. But the new magnets, like when they showed up, I was just, I was super psyched that it turned out like brilliant. Um, so that when you do the pony bag tuck, I should get my hat and show. I think the best way to do it is actually just like put your hat on, magnets not open, so that you can just like pull your hair through versus like trying to fight to get it on otherwise. And then I always flip my hair forward like this. <laughs> it's classic get the hair out of the way to do the tuck. So I just make sure all my other hair is clear and then wrap it around and they just snapped into place. Ah! So, I was beyond, beyond psyched. And the rest is history and we have been getting some just great feedback. I see you guys rocking the hats on Instagram. It makes my heart so happy. So thank you so much for supporting our new product. And I just wanna end with like, if you are thinking about designing a new product, like know that you don't necessarily have to have everything 100% perfect at the beginning. I think that's the biggest thing that I learned that sometimes it's okay to take a risk and it's okay to sort of have this sort of minimal viable product that you just continually keep improving. And you definitely learned that with the baseball hats, like there were some adjustments that we had to make along the way. And I'm sure that will be the case when we get more feedback from the beanies but just know that like, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can start with your idea and with, with what you have and just go for it and get the feedback from your customers and then iterate. So that's my advice and thanks so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure to hang out with you guys. I hope you have a great day. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we need it, we need, we need it like official, like, like ending. You know, like what am I gonna say? Like, awkward every at end. the end is always great. <laughs> me being awkward at the end, that's the ending. Okay, that's a wrap, we're done. <laughs> See you later.